Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionitis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today, we'll continue our microbiology and infectious diseases playlist. In the last videos, we talked about Listeria monocytogenes, which causes listeriosis, and we talked about Corynebacterium diphtheriae, which causes diphtheria. Now, let's talk about other less common, less famous Corynebacteria. And let's get started. Please watch the videos in this playlist in order. Corine bacteria are gram-positive rods, they are non-spore-forming, they happen to be aerobic yet immotile. The word corine means club-shaped. Corine bacteria, as you know, has short chains of mycolic acid and that's why they are not acid-fast. Unlike tuberculosis. Corine bacteria are gram-positive rods, non-spore-forming, aerobic or facultative anaerobes, Immotile, catalase positive, they do ferment carbohydrate, releasing lactic acid in the process, and they commonly colonize your upper respiratory tract, your gastrointestinal tract, and your genitourinary tract. For instance, today we'll talk about a bacteria known as Corinebacterium urealyticum, which causes kidney stones and urinary tract infection. Corinebacterium diphtheriae causes diphtheria. Corinebacterium gicium is an opportunistic organism, affects immunocompromised individuals, leading to wound infections, septicemia, endocarditis, and others. Arcanobacterium, wound infection, and scarlet-like fever, not to be confused with the scarlet fever caused by group A beta hemolytic streptococci, known as Streptococcus pyogenes. Trifurema wepelli causes the wepel disease. The organism is PAS positive, very important. It's a sugar lover. Wepel disease has the following symptoms. Weight loss, diarrhea, abdominal pain, big time, joint pain, lymphadenopathy, hyperpigmentation of your skin. Rothia mucilaginosa, look at how much mucine, she had mucoid and sticky. Adherent to damaged heart valve, causing subacute bacterial endocarditis. Corinebacterium urealyticum is a urease-producing organism. Ergo, it's going to convert urea, because urease, into ammonia. Ammonia is NH3. You'll find some protons in the urine. Combine with them to make ammonium. You'll find ammonium is positive thanks to the positive proton, and this positive will combine with a negative chloride to make ammonium chloride, which is an alkaline Compound. The alkaline compound will make your urine more alkaline, i.e. alkalinization of your urine. When I make your urine alkaline, I'm increasing the risk of stones that precipitate in an alkaline or basic medium. This is a basic fact. The most nasty of which are the struvite stones, aka ammonium magnesium phosphate stones. They are so big and they look like a coffin because they are the most evil. How about Corinebacterium ulcerans? Also causes diphtheria. Risk factors include consumption of raw milk or any raw animal product, contact with colonized animals, even domestic dogs and cats. If you like this video, you can download my antibiotics course on my website medicosisperfectionalis.com to teach you about antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications. I also have a surgery high yields course on my website and an emergency medicine high yields course. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.